Hi guys, welcome to the Cookie Network. I'm your host, Lisa Snyder, also known as the Barefoot Baker. Today we are going to make the cutest little Yeti cookies that you've ever seen. He is just absolutely adorable, and I bet you'll never guess what cookie cutter we use. So hurry on back and let's make some Yeti cookies. Don't wait, let's create. Hi guys, are you ready to decorate Mr. Yeti cookie? Okay, the first thing I did was I took the cutter that I got from Whisk Away Cutters and I traced it onto a piece of paper. Then I just quickly sketched some lines kind of the way I wanted them. But I cut out the mouth hole because I want all the mouths to be in the same spot on the cookies. So if you cut it out, then you can take one of these food safe markers. This is Sweet Sugar Bell's food safe marker. And you can actually just draw on the cookie. So that way, when you're ready to decorate, all your mouths will be located in the same spot. Next, I took, or next I want to draw his feet. I'm gonna give him a little bit of space in between his legs. Even though I probably won't respect this, I still feel like I need to draw it on there anyways. Then we'll draw his toes. Because you know, Yetis are all about the feet. They're about the cute little toes and about the feet. And I want this guy to have blue feet. <laughs> so bring his foot down in a little bit. And then we'll give him some hair. There we go. And then up here, I know you don't like talking about Yeti armpits. I can only imagine how they would smell, but I want to draw them in just a little bit anyways. So there you go. You now have your pattern drawn on your cookie. Let's get the black icing because not that I want to do crazy things. Whoa, I just made a mess. Not that I want to do crazy things with black icing. I do, however, want to fill in his little Yeti mouth. So now that we've put a little bit of black 15 second royal icing on his mouth, we are going to color it in. Try to make it as smooth as possible too. I know he probably wants nice smooth shiny teeth. And here's the thing, when you do this, you don't have to be like super careful because I could have totally gotten out of line right there and I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna outline his feet. And I'm gonna start with this toe right here. Pull the icing up and just kind of let it fall. Okay, so that's much better. And then, well, make some waves for his fur there. Same thing with this one. We're gonna do the toe, and then we'll do the other toe. I like to hold the piping bag away from the cookie, especially doing little projects like this because really it fills it up and it makes it a whole lot of fun. So I'm gonna let those dry a little bit and while they dry, I'm gonna go ahead and outline the Yeti's fur. Now, this icing is not 15 second icing. It is a stiff icing that will definitely hold its shape, but it won't, like, if you just start squeezing it out there, it's not just gonna stay out there and be like, I don't know. It, it, it won't hold its shape. It will blend together a little bit, but it will hold its shape enough that I think it'll make really cute Yeti fur. Let's 
that's one of those things if you want a smooth Yeti then you can make your icing you know smooth that way you can make it um, 10 second or 15 second icing or you can make it stiffer and have 15 to 20 second or even this is probably closer to 25 seconds to be honest so you just get it the way that you like it it's a cookie don't stress out over it just do what you like and have a little fun with it okay now that we've done that let's go ahead and flood one of his feet i'm just going to get in there and flood really well okay when you do this it seems like sometimes when we flood small spaces like this then our icing does a couple of mean things to us it either sinks in the middle gets a little hole or um, it makes it makes craters like it could get a hole in there like an air bubble and then the icing will fall and make a crater in your cookie so I think we just need to get in there and do whatever we can if you hold your cookie down well, I just smashed my icing if you hold your cookie down and drag something like this through it it will help get rid of all the air bubbles and then before you're done you can spill black icing everywhere then before you're done you can come along and add more icing to it to give it a little bit more volume to make it nice and full there we go he has a very nice full foot let's go ahead and get this other foot put some icing down Then we'll take our turkey lacer and manipulate. I like to manipulate the icing with a turkey lacer. I'm rubbing it across the bottom. Okay, hopefully our icing won't sink or fall down or get craters. I hope not. Traders aren't happy when it comes to your cookies. Again, this icing, like I said, is not the 15 second icing. I told you that I, I will tell you um, if I ever use anything besides the 15 second icing. I'm a one icing kind of girl, but it doesn't always work. And this is one of those cases where if you want him to be kind of stringy and have wild hair you may need to use a more stiff icing and just get in there and just make some lines and just kind of go crazy Go nuts. Just fill it and make little crazy wild icing hairs everywhere. Now before, I don't like that one. Before he starts to dry too much, let's see if we can get him some eyeballs.
Okay, I kind of like these eyes right here. So we'll go ahead and add these. When the icing is wet, all you have to do is just drop them on and give them a little push with your finger. Now the eyes are done. Now we're just gonna keep going with the fur and see how furry we can make him. And see what I'm saying about if you don't smooth it out or you don't do anything to try to smooth it out, then it is gonna have texture, but it's not gonna be over textured unless you're doing like I'm doing right now. Kind of doing this to show that you can make it very textured if you want. But if you don't want it textured, chances are it could fall kind of flat. And if you wanna go back and add a little more texture, you definitely can do that. I think he might need a little bit more on his face. We'll give him some crazy hair. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay, there's a couple things that I wanna do. Number one, he's supposed to have a heart. We're gonna give him a royal icing transfer heart. I'll show you the, um, uh, there's a link below that'll take you to my blog and you can get the free pattern and it'll tell you how to do it. And then right here, we're gonna make him. Oh, you know what we didn't make? Let me try this first. I need to make his teeth. I can't believe I almost forgot the Yeti's teeth. I'm gonna do probably, what, what do we think? Do we think three teeth or does he need more? I think he might need more. So we'll do like that. We'll give him two teeth on top and we'll give him three teeth on bottom because every Yeti cookie needs at least five teeth. made the teeth as you can see I have two th um, different consistencies of icing this is 15 seconds and this is the thick icing and you can see I've squeezed so much I've almost burst the bag made the bag rupture but these bags came from truly mad plastics and I haven't had any to bust so that's really to me that's a good thing and so I like using hers and I also like using flower box bakery You'll find both of those in a supply list below. And we'll give Mr. Yeti here a little nose. Isn't that cute? Okay. Anybody know what he's missing? Sure you do. What good is a Yeti if he doesn't have blue lips? So let's go ahead. I'm going to wipe off my bag real quick and let's give him some blue lips. I like to just touch the icing to the cookie and then kind of hold the bag over and let it fall. To me, that's kind of magical. There you go. There is your Yeti cookie. What do you think? I think he turned out pretty cute. Let's introduce you to some of his friends. There you go. Has anybody figured out what cookie cutter this is yet? Like I said, Tracy made it for us. Does anybody know? If you don't, that's okay. I'm getting ready to tell you in just a minute. Thank you so much guys for hanging out with me today on the Cookie Network. As you can tell, our little Yeti cookies are so happy. Look how fun they are. So, I know I didn't tell you before, but I told you you would probably never in a million years guess what cookie cutter we use to make them. Did you figure it out? Hmm, maybe if I give you a little hint. Do you see it? Yeah, here, let's try this. How about a Sunday cookie 
to make a cute little Yeti cookie. There you go, that's all you need. One cookie cutter, and you can make all kinds of cookies, but wait, Tracy over at Whisk Away Cutters made these for us, and she made them in so many different sizes. So if you go over there and you, you know, buy a cutter or two or three, because like I said, she has so many sizes, so if you go over there and pick out a few sizes, you can make ice cream sundae cookies, you can make Yeti cookies, and seriously, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. So go ahead, order your cookie cutters, get busy, and be sure to tag me or link and let me see what you guys made, okay? So thank you for joining me.